Good morning and yeah. welcome to the ultimate most satisfying day in the Ember month and mm -hmm. of course you know why. why because it's the first Monday of the month well true true hopefully you've not spent your entire salary Too yet late. Uh, but things seem to be all bright and beautiful as we start a brand new chapter a brand new journey and definitely brand new experiences this week talking about a new chapter we will be introducing the latest member of the wake up nigeria family here today yeah. and of course you've seen all the teasers from over the weekend mm -hmm. hey we are really excited about that we are actually um, and it's a mystery mm. for a lot of people i've been Tell getting calls that. messages who is this person now who is this person <laughs> i'm like yeah don't worry wait and see today is the day where we unveil this new queen yes indeed i'm sure mike is also very very excited mike aren't you Mm. Uh, I, I saw the dragon and I'm looking forward to some <laughs> fire unveiling today. Mm. So, but, uh, so if there's no fire, go and call. <laughs> go and get some some firewood ready because man, those dragons did die for nothing. Wow. <laughs> well, hey, we're looking forward to another season, perhaps of GOT. Maybe not. Too much. It's enough. Anyhow, well, we can't overemphasize the importance of staying or starting your Monday right here with us. This very, very fantastic way every single Monday. Well, yeah. Kick it off with us. Thank you very much for yeah. joining us this morning. And as usual, it's always high spirits every single Monday. And of course, throughout the entire week, we plan to help it stay that way. Just stay tuned to us. Uh, for the next one hour and 45 minutes grab a cup of your favorite beverage let's do monday yeah sounds yeah. very familiar doesn't it <laughs> now loads to look out for here today on this, uh, today's show my name is mazima peel and i'm titi laya oyinsan remember you can use the hashtag wake up nigeria on tvc across all social media platforms be part of this amazing show and uh, hey watch us from absolutely anywhere mm. you can also watch us live uh, from uh, our app which we ask that you download on google play store or on ios Make sure you follow us on social media. You know, TikTok is such a big thing all yeah. over the world now. And we're building up uh, our TikTok game here at Wake Up Nigeria. A lot of great comments on our posts these days. Just follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook at TVC Connect. All right, now, so for today's show, along with the unveiling, let's let you know what's coming on. Mm. For motivation, we are joined by Maywa Olabi, our financial market uh, coach and also trainer. He is uh, Africa's most sought-after financial coach, and he is also a serial entrepreneur and an alumni of the prestigious Lagos Business School. Yay, yay. And he joins us to talk about creating successful habits. Now, when it comes to our SME segment, we have LVI Art Gallery and Cultural Nexus. Now, uh, it's a Nigerian company promoting and trading contemporary artwork by Nigerian artists and, of course, promoting Nigerian culture. We're going to be finding out how the owner gained his experience and has grown in the industry. Mr. Julius Yojioje is going to be here with us. Of all course. Right. You're welcome. Yeah. Monday yeah. morning and a mm -hmm. very exciting Monday morning here because all through the weekend we've all been talking about this very special princess here in Wake Up Nigeria. And of course the time is now. We can't keep the suspense going any longer <laughs> before we wear it out. So I guess it's already time to tell them who it is. Yeah. So we'll be doing a special series this week, getting to know this amazing new princess. But we would like to introduce to you... Da, 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 da. Drum roll, pl please. The Winfrey. one, the only, Winfrey Okolo. <laughs> She's here. <laughs> I just had to do it because since you guys kept on calling me Prince, Prince. Yeah, well. Yes, <laughs> that is the princess, princess way. Princess. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> thank you. Thank welcome you. Welcome here on Wake Up Nigeria. Of course, you've met Mike. Mm -hmm. Definitely. He's the other guy. Yes. <laughs> 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 well, good to have you finally. Uh, good to And Lagos, I'm sure you guys mm -hmm. have been excited, but here mm -hmm. she is. Mm -hmm. You have to exactly find out who you are, yeah. what you've been doing, and stuff we don't know about. You're about though. to say what you've been through. Uh, yeah, a lot, perhaps. a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, my name is Winfrey Dania Okolo. As you said, you left out the Dania. Oh. And uh, I'm from Edo State. Okay. The last of five children. Oh, you're the baby in the family. Yes, I am. Oh. Yes. Um, of course, uh, I've done a number of things. What mm. really do you want to know? Mm. Well, everything. I'm sure Titi wants to know a couple yeah, of things. Yeah, so, um, at, over, in fact, we're all going to get to know each other mm. over time. Yeah. Sure. But um, I'm wondering why you decided to become a broadcaster. Uh, to be honest, I've always had that uh, desire to just communicate mm. 
and communicate properly, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, it's beyond just being on TV. It's about creating content okay. to re redefine the whole African story. Nice. Okay. You know how, I mean, over the years, we see how Africa has portrayed to the world yeah. and all of that. So my mission is honestly just correct that narrative. <laughs> and really, that's basically mm. it. So of course, if I have the privilege of being in front of TV while doing that, I'll yeah. be absolutely glad. Mm. Oh. So you can tell us about being a beauty queen. Aha, yeah. then we'll there tell us about that, that one. Mm -hmm. Tell you about that. OK. Uh, it was something I fell into. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, if I should put it that way. Um, uh, growing up, I actually grew up in a very conservative family. So like, it was definitely not on my plan at all. But mm. then again, with time, friends kept on telling me, yeah, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do it. I'm like, my father is a pastor, my father is a pastor, my father is a pastor. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> they didn't hear. But then again, um, in Uniben, uh, someone actually bought the form for me, and I got to represent the University of Benin in 2012. And then, yeah, at that point, when I won the pilot, I'm like, oh, OK. Now what? Hmm, yeah. There's probably something here okay. to try to explore. Yeah, and that's, that's basically how it all started. I'm, I'm sure you mm. and Titi are going to be talking about that one for yeah. a very long yes, time to come. Of course. <laughs> well, the beauty queen world, the world of pageantry is great. And she's been doing some great work in that world as Thank well. You. We'll be talking Thank about you. that a little later on. Mm -hmm. But at this point, and you're welcome. It's a Monday morning. My name is Mazzino Appeal. Let's do the news. Our gunmen have attacked and burnt down the Department of State Services and the Federal Road Safety Corps offices in Nnewi and Amber State. Eyewitnesses report the attack occurred around 1 p.m. on Sunday afternoon. It was gathered that when hoodlums stormed the offices, they overpowered personnel and set fire on the facilities. The number of those killed on or injured uh, cannot be ascertained as at the time of filing this report. Meanwhile, former spokesperson of the All Progressive Congress Lagos State, Joe Ibokwe, has accused members of the indigenous people of Biafra of invading and setting ablaze his house in Uagunnewi, Anambra State. He made this public on his Facebook page where he claimed he captured the event, the incident, live from his house in Lagos through his CCTV installed in Newi, watching how they alighted from a Sienna bus while carrying jerry cans of fuel. An online video also emerged later that featured a burning facility in Newi. Joe Ibuque has been consistent on his advocacy that Indigo should play center politics and the need for the zone to be considered to produce the next president after President Muhammad Buhari's tenure in 2023. The police public relations officer, Tochuku Kenga, confirmed a distress call of an incident in Newi, assured the personnel uh, have cordoned off the premises. And now a lecturer at the Adekunle Adjusi University of Ondo State has been kidnapped. David Adinlewa was abducted between Akure Ikire Road while going to visit his family in Ikiti State. The kidnappers have contacted his family and are demanding a 10 million naira ransom. Head of Information and Protocol Unit of the University, Victor Akinkbalumi, has uh, said the incident is still sketchy and promised to get back to our correspondent. The Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project has urged President Muhammad Buhari to withdraw the imp uh, impermissible uh, condition imposed on Twitter pending the final determination of the suit at the ECOWAS Court of Justice in Abuja challenging the legality of suspending the microblogging platform. In a statement by its deputy director, Kalawale Oluwadari Sarap urged the president to withdraw the clauses in a bid to allow the court to render a decision on the central issue in the case and protect the plaintiff's rights and interests. President Buhari had stated in his address to mark Nigeria's 61st independence anniversary that the federal government would only lift the suspension of Twitter in Nigeria if certain conditions, including uh, concerns around national security, are met. And President Muhammad Buhari has arrived at Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia, meeting the country's Prime Minister, Abib Ahmed. President Buhari's aircraft touched down at the newly built VIP terminal of Bali International Airport at 5.06 p.m. The president was accorded a full guard of honor by the Ethiopian National Defense Force. After the airport ceremony, the prime minister gestured to him by taking the control of the steering wheel. President uh, Buhari is expected to deliver a goodwill message at the prime minister's inauguration scheduled to hold at the historic Muscal Square. This is Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. It's the seat of the African Union. If the president of this country is being inaugurated, it is significant to all African countries. 
And the fact that it is democracy is another boost for democracy. There's a new trend in Africa now that should not be encouraged. And when African leaders are seen to support the growth and development of democracy, it's good for the continent. It's one of the best things that can happen to any ambassador, receiving your president. It's a part of his effort to strengthen democracy in Africa. You recall that Nigeria has been a stabilizer of many democracies in Africa. And Mr. President has always spoken strongly about values of democracy. So he's coming. And that's it for news. Hello and welcome back. It's time for us to look at what's happening on the covers of the dailies this morning. Today is Monday, the 4th of October, 2021. We're starting with the Nigerian Tribune today. And it says here, PDP Northern Power Brokers mobilize ahead of NEC meeting. Evolve Plan B, consider Lamido for chairmanship. Uh, how Makinde, other governors, sway chairmanship post to Northern region. It also talks here about uh, Atiku meeting governors, promising to abide by zoning. Right at the top of the page there, it says federal government yet to release 19 billionaire revitalization funds three months after approval. Uh, it says ASUP meets today. Laddie Williams uh, dies of COVID-19. How duplication of agencies, poor funding, uh, clog Nigeria's renewable energy plans. And on VAT, Adamawa Kaduna Plato set to join FIRS in legal battle against Rivers and Lagos. What else do we have here? It says here, uh, FRSC uh, DSS offices, Joe Iboke, uh, Iboque's house in Newi, uh, two killed, uh, burnt in Newi and two killed. Uh, INEC worries over worsening insecurity in Anambra. That's what we have on the cover of the Nigerian Tribune. We also have the Guardian newspaper here as well. 300,000 shareholders abandoned dividends over inflation. Red tape. We also have this. It says here, unclaimed dividends now 170 billion could hit 300 billion if not reversed by 2025. FBN Holdings, Nestle, Nigerian breweries, uh, top firms with unclaimed dividends. It also says here, resident doctors may call off strike today. Uh, death toll in Kaduna attacks rise to 40. Kogi alleges smear campaign against governor. Anambra government blames APC, federal government, for insecurity in states. And five northern states join FIRS in VAT dispute against Rivers and Lagos. Right there as well in the uh, photo story there, you can see the winner of the just-concluded uh, Big Brother Niger Season 6, uh, White Money. For those of you who are just waking up to that news, uh, that's what we have on the cover of The Guardian. And indeed, uh, that's all we have time for when it comes to the headlines and the dailies at this point. Wow, okay, so... <clears throat> welcome, everybody. Honestly, welcome. And I'm just saying, yesterday's events, mm -hmm. I'm talking about the closing ceremony you can say it, the finale oh, for Big Brother. Finale of Nigeria. Big Brother yesterday. Yeah. Woohoo, what a show. Wow! <laughs> no, but honestly, I mean, seriously, even from the penultimate one, I've always said that mm. it's such an underwhelming... Um, I'm sorry, I know people are going to come for me, but why, yeah. why I say this is... I say that to say this. We already knew where it was going from the third week in the house and everything, and mm. some of the people who made it till the final week are people whom I was asking my wife as we were watching it, yeah. who's that person? Oh, wow. I didn't know these guys. So the activities inside of the house, the yeah. finale was so predictable, and I'm sure I'm not the only one who expressed as much. I don't mm. know. Well, uh, people were getting their predictions correct. Uh, I'm not going to say it was really predictable, uh, but it just goes to show um, what a solid fan base can mm. do for you. Um, well, from the, what they call it, the chart at the end of the event, mm -hmm. it did show a very overwhelming gap between the know. winner and Mike, what the do you runner think? up. And, and well, like you said, so you know how many people at different points, when it goes to the they predicted the, line, the yeah. Yeah. position. Yeah. Exactly as it was going to be. Won money. Exactly. I knew, okay, let me say I knew. Mm -hmm. I thought White Moon is going to win. Okay. Yeah. Because of, I mean, in the beginning of the show, he seemed to be the only authentic person, mm -hmm. in my opinion. I didn't okay. watch the show, but I kind of followed it, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I think that was literally about it. But I didn't know the other people and 
the way it was going to go mm. because I didn't necessarily follow. But yeah, yeah I think quite money was so kind I think of that, obvious. I think that, like you mentioned, that fact of predictability mm -hmm. was what would have made you feel it's underwhelming. And yes. I can understand. You, yes, want to, you want to watch a game show or a reality show and... That's that that unpredictability, you suspense. know, is there. Yeah. Yeah, that exactly. suspense. I mean, you've I mean, you've been in, let's say, for instance, a pageant now and then yeah. you. But I don't know. It happens in pageants a bit. It does. I mean, that's what it does. Yeah. It does. But I love. I love. I love that's unpredictable. It. But it, that's not a popularity does it? contest. That's a you it, it, it tell us. It happens in pageants because <laughs> I, the, the parts like the one I love about pageants that are quite um, when it's not arranged is when they ask them some those nice Ooh. questions See, I think and then they get to show yeah. themselves yeah. the exact opposite way, right? Because. Mm. At a point, you're meant to be able to see and be like, oh, okay, this girl's performance is great, right? Mm -hmm. She should win. And then in Nigeria, you go and it's the exact opposite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I was asking myself this just yesterday after the show, and I asked myself, would I participate in a Nigerian, mm. note on the line, Nigerian reality, reality show. show? I don't know if there is if there is the one I would be excited to be a part of, especially with all the restrictions. Um, once you're married, nobody expects to see you in a reality show. That's one unfortunate thing. You know, but nobody expects to see you. It depends on the kind of show. They go, they happen. Go for gold down. Go for ultimate suit. Who send your answers later? You see, you see it's a, you, but, because you laugh at food, you know, I said it. I actually it. have a thing about it. Go for, go, go for ultimate set. You know, Mars, you know, by the time you come out. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these spaghetti arms. <laughs> do that again, do that again. Do that again. I'm not going to do, do it again. again. Yeah, but would but, you do a reality uh, show? I applied for Big Brother twice. <gasps> you did? My father shouldn't know. <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah, I did, I did. I, I mean, How I've done one. I've, I've done one. I've never applied for that. But I've done one. I've done something else. I yeah. won at the regional level. Mm -hmm. And then there was national stuff. It's, it's, it's cool. I think for everybody at one time or the other, if you can, mm. because it gives you maybe an idea of how life will be. The, the, mm. the issue I have with Big Brother is it really reality. Mm. In the sense that where I have to, I mean, where I have to always put on my mic, if I was watching Survivor yeah. or something, true, where, in a way I always have true. to put on my mic, I always have to ensure this is yeah. there. You understand? Yeah. So imagine, I'm, yes, yes, imagine yeah, I'm trying being, to get dressed now mm. and I want to, oh, I have to pull on my mic. Okay, I have to be careful when I talk to this girl. Sure. So it's not reality. Uh, you know, yeah, you understand? No longer, yeah. So there's a lot, and then there's a lot they don't and can't talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then there's so a lot they when don't you see. when you watch that kind of thing, yeah. there's so I mean, someone comes. Oh, that guy! Look at what he did. He's so intelligent. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know? Do you know how much? I mean, you don't you don't need to talk to them, but they yeah. will tell you. But then you, you from from their discussions, mm. some people like just talk about themselves. Mm. There's a lot. They, I mean, Very there's a lot they are not allowed to talk. Yeah. About. And so, True. with what we see, we cannot gauge the intellectual capacity of True. any housemate. Really, I, I, I can't. True. Nobody can. So that's There's what so you much. Would go, that's what you would go for. Yeah. What would you ladies go for? Um. Well. Just, just a theme. Just something. Okay, I'm trying to think. So there are a lot of these uh, business reality shows that didn't exactly make it. You know, make. Ah, huge yeah. news, mm -hmm. but there's the some of those. Sure. Yeah, but they're really good. I loved what they were doing. I love the mentors. I love the people that were involved in it. But it had they purpose. just want exactly. Exactly. I My own, the one, so but, after that first sure. one, the one Listen. I prepared for mm -hmm. that yeah. I didn't get into was the betas. Oh, yeah. I would have won. Oh, yeah. You are the engineer who did it actually. Do you know what I did? Oh. Every single person that participated, I I became friends with them. Wow. I spoke about the show. Wow. I, I, I prepared for the oh, next season. Oh, now I get it. That's why he's friends with Yomi. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know Yomi before, long before then. Uh, I prepared so much for it. I was like, what? Be I'm going to key them. <laughs> <laughs> what, would it, what would it be? I would like to go for a show where I can dance. <laughs> You're a dancer? No, I'm not a dancer. Okay. Well, that's the great thing about it because, I mean, mm. you have trainers that can yeah. teach you to dance. Yeah. I always loved watching things like that. Like, just something Dancing that has to be... Dancing with the stars like, of Wake Up Nigeria. Wow. Yeah. Like, well, uh, there was one like that. Uh, yes, there was. Celebrity yeah. Takes, takes Two. two. Yeah. 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 But it's, I don't know why. I liked that good. one. I liked yeah. the, um, the, dance, the family dance one. Dance one. Yeah, Sound Sultan was on that. Even Omotala was on that. It was good. It was good. It was nice. It was good. It was good TV. And I feel like with Ultimate Search coming back, it's... Uh, we, we had options then, so yes, at least one, true. at least you'd always find one reality show that fits your needs. Well, what about the role of advertisers mm. on these reality shows? Mm. How's it positioning people, yeah. or rather brands, and then what's the effect on mm. the people who are viewing? Oh, ben, is he, is he, what is, is the he, impact of is the it master project? Oh, <laughs> is it thesis? Uh, is it? Uh, <laughs> is it uh, <laughs> we are talking. Is it thesis? No, it's a real question here because first of all, what's the impact on the on people who are viewing? What's the impact of Big Brother on? on anybody, for yeah. instance. 
in, What's the in terms of, of, of your ultimate search? Is it mm. just one individual or is it going to impact a whole lot of people? Yeah. Your business shows now, mm. I, would have, I would imagine that it would impact just more than one person. Yeah, of course. And that's the purpose I'm talking mm. about. Dancing with yeah. Winfrey, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but even then, there, are, there, there, is, well, there is a whole dance community mm -hmm. that can learn from that, can, that could see that as a pinnacle, that could work towards becoming yes. the top of a particular show. Yes. So if you have a skill and something you're showcasing, I think it's of more value than just being in a place mm -hmm. for a certain number of yes. days and it being yes. a popularity contest. Yes. Mm -hmm. true. That's true. what I have true. a challenge with. Very so true. do something. Actually be creative true. and actually perform something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think, this, I think we've gone me. all around. Like so, we didn't mention the business shows, the dragon, the yeah. dragon yeah. stand, mm -hmm. yeah. the shark tank, yeah. the um, um, the apprentice. The apprentice. Mm -hmm. the apprentice was just solid. I, like I, I love the I apprentice. Really like it. And then um, <laughs> the one we have now is Titans. I think. Yeah, yeah Titans. Titans. Uh, Titans. Mm -hmm. But you know, I, I feel like everybody loves that. There has to be that rush of adrenaline, that fun, mm -hmm. and a bit of it. But yeah. I love the business shows. I mean, it tends to. As, as a yeah. country to do better with our economy, entrepreneurs so need this, to be. This, That's why we just say me. Top Chef. I mean, There's um, the one that Heidi Klum did for Catwalk. Have you guys seen the light bulb so in my head? Ding. Which, this which is what we're going to do. What? <laughs> for subsequent Friday shows, we are going to apply each of this. Oh, we're wow. going to do a debaters contest. We're going to do a dancing competition. Fashion. We're going to present a business thing. <laughs> and I'm just going to be I mean, with Zeno. <laughs> the host of the games master. You but, don't, um, don't be for you. <laughs> we hear there's one reality show that's going to be based at a beach soon. Isn't that the kind you'd like to be at? Well, holiday and everything. with a beach one. body like hers, Maybe, maybe. <laughs> but <you>. nah, <laughs> not like this. But maybe, you know, talking about but see what she said, exactly. See what she just talking said. About expectations put on people who are actually yeah. But that's really what it is, though. That's, it. that's really what we want to see. What you see or what you're about? But yeah, 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 to know, be honest, you know, every, oh you know beach is close to forest, <laughs> and forest is close to something. <laughs> So just be careful the kind of competition you're going for now. What you would like to feature on when it comes to reality shows, we would like to know. We're going to read those messages so you can use Facebook. Do stay tuned. We'll be back. Hello and welcome back. It's a Monday, meaning we have to start with motivation. Uh, we're joined by Mr. Maiwa Owulabi. Now, he's a financial market coach and trainer. He's Africa's most sought-after financial coach, and he's also a serial entrepreneur, the alumni, and alumni, rather, of the prestigious Lagos Business School. Today, we're talking about something very important, creating successful habits. Hmm. That word habits, uh, when I was growing up, had a lot to do with the word bad in front of it. <laughs> uh, my mom used to just tag me out, it's a bad habit, it's mm. a bad habit. Yeah. I never really began to associate habits with good things. Mm. Uh, but over the years, I've begun to adjust my mindset and mm. hopefully we can help adjust some mindsets this morning. Amazing. You're welcome to the show. Thank you for having me this morning. All right, so there are habits, but then there are also successful habits. Yes. Uh, what sort of um, ideals do you have to have uh, to create successful habits? I think the first thing we need to help our audience with is what's the definition of habit. Okay. Because if you don't understand the purpose or the definition of a word, you might mm. not be able to use it rightly. Mm. So I'll say um, habit is what you do consistently okay. as a routine. Okay. However, it could be bad and it could be good. And for me, when you are touching that word with success, it means there's something that will help you to be successful. And for you to be successful, I would tell people that everyone can be successful, but we have a challenge with people explaining the word success. Um, you know, in one of my, one of my um, um, research mode, I, I discovered that a lot of people come check themselves with other people's results, okay. and that limits their their goal that limits their target that limits the expectation that limits the goal setting framework but the real definition of success is what i am meant to do to the goal that i have set okay so i don't need to compare myself with you because when i compare myself with you i, I breach the process mm. i breach the rule but when I understand that, okay, I want to reduce my weight loss by X amount, yeah. I want to become financially successful or financially better with X amount, that becomes a goal. Then the habit now comes in. Okay. What do I do to fix this? Okay, so does it have to do with things I do 
every single day, um, maybe every month? Or is this something I have to have done from when I was a child or when I was very young? Mm. You know, what do those, what are those habits limited by? Okay, so one of the things that will help us with that is that people need to understand that it is a routine. Okay. So it depends on the kind of goal you have. So if you have a kind of goal that you want an expectation, let's say in three months, that means that I need to start before the three months time. Mm. Okay, research says by uh, research by um, Duke, Duke University yeah. says that forty percent of our daily activity is being controlled by our beats. Hmm. So, so, for instance, things like uh, brushing your teeth and yeah, getting dressed and great. things like that. So yes. it's around that routine because okay. we've been doing it over and over again. So what I did yesterday, I did forty percent, at least forty percent of my routine. Okay. So if I wake up to jog morning, early morning, my routine. If I wake up early, my routine. So if I want to become successful in any industry or in any part of maybe health-wise, finance-wise, fitness-wise, then I need to put in those things in alignment with my goal. So if okay. somebody wants to be successful in the next five years, yeah. it's not going to be the same activity yeah. with somebody that wants to be successful in the next three months. So are you saying that, okay, in the next three months, I, yeah. I want to have $10,000. Fantastic. Right? Great. Are you saying there's something I can do every day for the next, let's say, 90 days that can get me that $10,000? Yes, there is. Okay. So I would, I would classify that as finance, finance yes. routine. Okay. So number one of that is you need to have a belief system. Okay. Because you can't actually, um, I tell people we have three types of work. We have head work, we have heart work, we have hand work. Okay. Hand work, head work, Hard work. There's a kind of result you want to get that when it is uh, when it is set, you need to move it to your art work, mm -hmm. and you need to build such okay. by your daily activity. Maybe number one, you one of the one of the secret of wealth or success mm -hmm. is you need to have a meditation time. Okay. So when you have a meditation time, it allows you to create a daily plan. See, one of the things we don't get used to is our daily plan, our daily routine. Okay, I'll do this, I'll call 10 clients, okay. I will send proposal. I'll, those are the activities that brings the goal. Okay. But when I give myself $10,000 in the next three months, the question is, why do I need it? Okay. Because if the why is not solid, I could breach the rule of mm. engagement. Because I won't be focused on it as Fantastic. Much. Okay. But when the why is heavy on me, yeah. no matter what is trying to pull me away, I would definitely say, oh, my why, you need to get this done. You okay. need to get this done. Right. So my routine, my act activities becomes my habit. And once I hit that $10,000 goal, yeah. then I need to go, go by it. One of my mentors once told me that everything you want to do, do it in tanks. So if I want to make $1, mm. All I need to do is get $1 yeah. and then go $10. Okay. When I go $10, I go $100. When I go $100, then I go... $1,000. Yeah. Okay. My goal currently is to um, help a billion people achieve their wealth goals. Amen to that. Amen. All right. So I think there's a space there for me. If it's one billion people, there's a space there for me too. That, that's it. All right. Because when I, when I discover what I've been able to invest my life into for the past 10 years, I realize that it's all about wealth success. So you need, people need to know that the activity yeah. will bet the result, but they need to be intentional. I have to say a big thank you to you for giving us something to motivate on this morning. Thank you so much for having It's all about finding successful habits towards your goals. We're going to be heading into the kitchen at this point. Winfrey, it's all yours. It's my absolute pleasure to be making my solo debut right here in the kitchen. It definitely shows that everything is going perfectly as planned. Today I have with me Chef Isaac, who is definitely going to be making something that looks Really, really delicious. Hi, Chef. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, so now what are we making today? Yeah, today we're making um, seafood paella. Seafood paella. Paella. Okay, yeah. please, where is that from? <laughs> it's actually uh, between um, Spain and um, Romans. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of a, it's a, a, a cuisine which uh, kind of um, joined them together, like it kind of joins more of the culture. Okay. Yeah, but it's more practiced by the, the Spain. Spain, okay, yeah. Spain. Okay, definitely not a meal on a budget. 
because I see all that <laughs> seafood, and I'm like, you know, how much is this plate? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we're making more than one portion, okay? Um, okay, for how many course. people? Mm, for at least three, four persons. Okay, great. Yeah. The okay, so now is this, you know, this everything you see here, you know, you can actually get in a very cheap price, which I think if doing it on your own personally, it's gonna be it's gonna cost you a little money. Okay. Oh really? Like, okay. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> tell me. So what's the process like? What do I do first? Because I see you're already chopping some onions. Yeah, so basically what we start with, you know, we have to parboil our rice first. So okay. we have basmatic rice here. Okay. We parboil it first, you know, with the salt and the little bit of oil. Mm -hmm. Yes. Great, so what does the know. oil in the water do? Because I know that for pasta, but I don't know that for rice. Yeah, great. You no, know, you know, basically where we add oil to eat, so it's, uh, it's, it's going to stand um, you know, on its own. It's going to be single. Oh, okay, like great. Merge together. Okay, so is this like a stir fry kind of thing? Okay, great. Let me just put you, let me just put you and everything. Okay, now what we'll do basically now after pot boiling this, mm -hmm. okay? Let's start. We, start can we, start? With, um, we can start with the um, with the burns. Mm -hmm. we grill the prawns with the calamari. Mm -hmm. The fish, we're going to defry it. Mm -hmm. And the prawns, we're also going to grill it. Then before grilling it, we have to marinate all of these with our seasoning cubes and the salt, a little bit of our chili flakes. Okay. And uh, some garlic. Okay, great. Okay, so now let's get right into it. So we're marinating first? Yeah, no, let's have our rice first. Okay, so I'm just waiting for the water to get a little bit okay, more huh? before we can pour rice into it. So okay. then Parboil it's not totally done. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when we start the meal, it will be too much to work. It gets not mashed. So you can get a perfect dish done. Okay, so yeah. why do we parboil our rice generally? Oh, literally. You, you can know, start what you're doing. No, literally <laughs> it's uh, you know, to kind of prep it. Okay. Okay. You know, if you if you do if you work in a in an a la carte kitchen like mm -hmm. in a restaurant, yeah, you have to do a proper prep it down, okay? okay. So when the other come in, you don't have to waste any time any time yeah. okay so it's for faster it's cooking for faster cooking, okay because i know i've heard a lot of stories about how oh if you put boil it the yeah. ingredients won't go in properly especially when you're making something like jollof or something yeah in jollof in jollof yeah. actually i would i would i would literally not advise it to boil it down oh. yeah. it's always very good for you to start from the base to start from the base yeah, so oh you can awesome get everything into it mm. but on this you know we literally have different things going inside of it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes so and again and again it's basmati rice and you know, you know, if you have to start it uh, from the from squash before everything you get into it, it's probably get mashed. Okay, yeah, that makes sense now. Awesome. So now, tell me a, more about this. Why did you? How long have you been cooking for, by the way? Oh, <laughs> it's been years. I can't actually count it. Really? Yeah. How many? Well, oh, oh, after thirty years. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What? What is it that intrigues you about cooking? Why did you decide to become a chef? Yeah, cooking is something I've um, I've got to realize that. It's very interesting, you know, being the Keshwood mom right from time. It has mm -hmm. been very, very Tell interesting. Tell Nigerian men that. Yeah, it has been very, very interesting, okay? Yes. You know, this is the, and after then, I got the opportunity of working in the kitchen as a kitchen assistant. Okay. So from there, I, I, I realized that um, being in the kitchen is very, very much interesting. Very, okay. Yeah, awesome. So from there, I went to the feed and then learned a lot more. Mm -hmm. and then, before you know what, I've gone far. Mm, okay. Basically, it's what I do. Right. Yeah, it's very, very interesting. Okay. You know? <laughs> what would you say is your number one kitchen tip? Ooh. Because not like me, I like to cook. Yeah, the okay. truth is that I can't cook every day back to back to back. Okay, okay, okay. Because okay, okay, okay. it's stressful. So what is that, what's, what's that tip for you that keeps you going every day? <sighs> it's something that, it's, it's like fun to me, okay? Okay. Yeah, when being in the kitchen, no matter how sad I am, yeah. despite the, 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 the you know, situation around this, this you know, the country as well. Mm -hmm. You know, no, no much money and everything, other things. Mm -hmm. Some things just get you bored and not happy at all. Mm -hmm. But once I get to the kitchen, trust me, I'm a happy man. Okay, okay. awesome. So, so now let's go through these ingredients. What exactly do we have on this um, seafood um, plate? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, here we have uh, the string. Okay. Yeah, and then these are um, fish, actually cocoa fish. Oh. And these are tiger prawns. Mm -hmm. And this calamari. They're all, all seafood. Okay, okay. And, and they've been are, cleaned properly, yeah, right? Yeah, cleaned properly. Awesome. Yeah, I, 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 I've done my, my, my prepping, okay? So now this is uh, the cherry tomato. We're going to use for garnishing after making our paella. Mm -hmm. So we use for garnishing. I add a little bit of, uh, this is actually not part of the, of the, rest, of the recipe, of the menu, well, actually. Oh, you're Nigerians, we like Yeah, we are Nigerians, so yeah. I want it to be a little bit spicy. Spicy, yeah. Yeah, okay. this is the butter, which we're going to start with uh, making our paella. And this is the okay. garlic cloves, just to season all the, the seafoods. Okay. okay, and this is the, the dill. It goes into the paella and so for ganchi as well. And this also, which is a green piece, is also 
part of the garnishing. Oh, okay. So the lemon is gonna give it um, a little more taste to the um, to the paella because we're gonna squeeze some juice of the lemon, lemon into, the paella, into it. And then these are onions. Okay. And these are chili flakes. Okay. It's very nice with paella. And yeah. uh, it gives uh, more spice as well. And we have and uh, there's a sauce, sauce. and there's a flour. Oh, this wow. flour, we're basically going to use it to mix rub our, our fish before they frying it. Okay. okay. So it will be very perfect coming out. Okay. And these are saffron. Hmm. Yo, saffron is actually one of the major, I'll call it the major ingredient in paella. Spice. It gives that, that color. Hmm, we got some white wine. Yes, and um, vegetable oil. Oil, okay. Yes. So right now, what are you doing? I'm doing some marination. Okay. Yeah, so um, let me just put you a little bit, a little bit of this um, uh, seafood stock. You know, the seafood stock is uh, it's one one ingredient that is very nice on the seafood paella, okay. which you really, really need. You know, and then to get this this uh, seafood stock done, you need some uh, fish and uh, some prawn um, shell. Some, some prawn shell, some just some prawn the shell? Sh the shell, yeah. Okay. The shell is very nice. So, and then uh, some chopped um, celery. Mm -hmm. To give it that, the, the kind of very nice aroma. Mm -hmm. yeah, then some garlic and uh, onions. Oh, nice. Yes, that's why I'll come by this. Although I, I've seen it already, that's why you see the very clean. Yes, yeah, clear. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So basically, I'm doing marination. Mm -hmm. Marinating all my seafood mm -hmm. so we can go on the grilling. So for seafood, is it that you marinate for a short time? Because you know, some people say they marinate for like some days, some hours, but you're mm -hmm. just doing it direct. Actually, if you marinate it for uh, some a long period, mm -hmm. it's it's also very nice. Mm. You know, it's it's so sinking, it's sinking as mm -hmm. I to go in. Okay. But though it's still very nice like this. Okay. Okay. Marinating it fresh, grilling it fresh, middle east still very okay. 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 So now we have our rice on the fire. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So we go, we start with the uh, calamari first. Okay. So I'm just going to put my calamari on, on the fire pan first. Mm -hmm. My grilling it along the way. I put the um, the stream mm -hmm. because the calamari is a kind of um, a bit stronger. It takes okay, long, longer, longer time to, to cook. Yeah, okay, longer cooked. makes so, sense. <laughs> well, we'll we grill this for like a few minutes, mm -hmm. about one two minutes. So we'll put the the, the medium prince inside. Okay. And then after then we start. Uh, we cut this into cubes. Mm -hmm. Just so wait. that's the medium prince. Yeah, no, this is tiger prince. Oh, it's and tiger prince. Yeah, there, there's a stream over here. Okay. I've marinated already. Okay. So just for us to put it inside one like two minutes. Yeah. Then put the, the stream inside. Okay. So before we can grill. Okay. So now what's the criteria for deshelling? your shrimp because some people take it all out okay. but i noticed that you still have some of the tails there yeah of course making paella you don't need to remove all the shell out okay. actually the shell most some people eat the shell alongside with it yeah some people eat the yeah, shell yeah exactly so making paella you don't need to remove the shell but if you want to remove the shell mm -hmm. it's still okay. still okay but it's very nice it, it looks very pre presentable mm -hmm. while you leave the shell in. okay very, yes so awesome exactly. awesome 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 like i can't actually wait what exactly are we doing to this cute baby tomatoes Okay, like I said in the first place earlier on, the um, cherry tomato is for garnishing. Okay. So while our, our pile is getting done, mm -hmm. we just cut it, then put it inside the pile. Okay, so what? now what are the health benefits of, what is the health benefit of this meal? Oh, the health benefit? Mm -hmm. Trust me, we, any food you have in garlic in, inside, it's very nice. Okay. And most probably the seafood, okay. it's very nice and then, you know, I think it's gonna keep you healthy. You're going to keep right? you healthy. <laughs> you think? Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Definitely gonna keep you healthy. All right. Fresh. Try, try eat some prawns. You know, eat some prawns. I'm very sure you're gonna look more, more fresh in this. What yeah. is it? I mean, try eat some prawns. Okay. You, it's very nice, actually. It's very nice. Okay. To make you look more fresh and beautiful. Okay, so while he does all of that, let's go on a quick break and we'll be right back. Yes, indeed. Now, I hope our reveal of Winfrey has you guys uh, on your feet, you know. Now, don't worry, you get to see plenty more of Winfrey in the next 45 minutes. So, yeah. whipping that cream, <laughs> making that batter, cooking mm -hmm. that. I don't know. Actually, she there. looks like she's having a lot of fun with the chef. She is. See how she yeah. took on the kitchens like I said, uh, Winfrey, you're having too much fun. Eh? Hello. Is this I'm work? in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, how are you finding our kitchen? Lovely, uh, lovely. Awesome, awesome. Like you don't want to see what this looks like right now. Oh, oh well, grand. <laughs> we can't wait to taste it. You can see it all you want. We just want to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> There's loads of love being spread across yeah, this particular uh, studio right mm -hmm. now, especially when we have Chef Isaac in the building. And hopefully we can help put that sunny smile on your face. Mm. Uh, we're helping you shine every day as well. Uh, with all the segments we've done already so far, yeah. it's been a great show. It has and there's indeed. still quite a lot to come. Mm. Well, once again, good morning, people. Again, we welcome you to the second lap here for your premium breakfast family show. Mm -hmm. That last wake up Nigeria, which other one? 
Now, an exciting for five minutes still here to come, and we're going to tell you guys exactly what we have in store for you. My name is Mazino Peel. And I'm Titi Laya Oinson. Remember, you can use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC across all social media platforms. Please be a part of the show. We can't wait to have you. And you can watch us live from absolutely anywhere across the world. All you need is our mobile app. Yes, indeed. And remember, you can also watch us live on our uh, <laughs> website uh, and also on Facebook as well. Yeah. Now, we hope that you're following us already on Facebook uh, yeah. and on Instagram and also on TikTok. It's yeah. at TVC Connect. It is that easy across all the platforms. Yeah. Let's let them know what we have coming. LVI Art Gallery and Cultural Nexus is a Nigerian company promoting and trading contemporary art. And, uh, you know, when it comes to Nigerian artists and promoting Nigerian culture, to Nigerians, it's all about sharing those experiences. We can't wait to hear from him, especially when you have a gallery as a business. We have Julius Iojioji coming in to our SME segment. All right. Oh, so welcome back. this weekend, um, Tassin Fury will be up against uh, Deontay Wilder. Oh yeah, for the third Beyonce uh, Wilder. Yeah, for the third. Uh, <laughs> no, I call him that's... Beyonce. Uh, Beyonce. Why? Yeah, it because sounds, it does sound <laughs> why? I hear it. Beyonce. Why? First of all, it's all Beyonce about his own tactics and everything. Oh. Ask. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I can't say this. I can't. I can't say much for Anthony Joshua since after his last performance. Mm. I so since, uh, some people have was, up days, some have down days. So so as he was asked uh, to comment because you know he was really looking for a, a unification fight mm. and he felt he felt bad that. Joshua lost because mm. it's going to make it harder now. Yeah, you see, might not just want to go up to a fury now. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, this is his first heavyweight fight. Mm. You see, came from cruiserweight, and so he might not want to go on a fury now. You understand? So mm. it's going to be hard, it's going to take longer for unification to happen. But then he goes like, Uh, Joshua, he's training now, mm -hmm. so he doesn't want to get distracted. He's like, Uh, Joshua should put his head up mm -hmm. and all of that. But uh, Deontay Wilder is the best. Okay, this is how he puts it. He said, Deontay Wilder is the best heavyweight out there. Wow. There's only one person who can take down Deontay Wilder, who can ever, and that's him. Yeah. So he says he's not the best heavyweight. He's be, he's better he's than better the best. Than. He's wow. not in their class, and actually, he might be. He well, actually is. Correct. Remember what you said about the <laughs> pre-fight moments yes, and everything. Yes, it's all Blow about the build-up. Build 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 up. Don't you be need to see the trash talking it. going on between him and Wilder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The mm. you, you unprintable stuff, stuff that yeah. you can't even take on. Social on media, television even. and then it's, that's it's going to hype up this something. Not the cool guy. Oh, uh, I'm training. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, uh, and then you, you, go, you go for the you go for the you Fine. go for the way in, and then oh, what am I open <laughs> like when Anthony eventually like, gets on this couch, like they, they did yeah. that. They did that. Mm. This guy goes like this. Now Anthony you go like this. Like, <laughs> like, what? What's this? Do you, okay, do you follow about it? Uh, okay, the truth is, I don't know if you guys saw the photo with. Mm. Um, <clears throat> Anthony and a particular president, mm. and uh, the rumors yeah. that went round about since that particular president touched his belt, oh. he's never <laughs> down. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm beginning to believe it. Oh wow, <laughs> really? Me. But in any case, yeah. our TikTok heavyweight boxer. Oh wow. I'm sorry, see, we do this all the time, Nigerians. <laughs> we still, wow. I would like to say, if you're yeah. watching now, Joshua, yeah. Joshua. We love you. We yes, believe no, exactly. in you. Yes, you know do. Nigerians. We like Definitely. to make fun or light of everything, but we, yeah. we still believe in you. Uh, we're hoping that your next battles uh, are won <laughs> by you. We are strongly behind you. Don't worry. Yeah. We, 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 we still say, love why not, you. Why not Yabin? We just know where his limits. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. He has no He's limit. limitless. Please. Guys, he has Yabin. no limits. Let's go when to is that? <laughs> That's why you know <laughs> that. You. We love Joshua. <laughs> Welcome back. Second hour here for Wake Up Nigeria. My name is Mazina Peel. This is the news. Now, gunmen have attacked and burned down the Department of State Service and the Federal Road Safety Corps offices in Newi and Number State. Eyewitnesses report the attack occurred around 1 p.m. on Sunday afternoon. It was gathered that when hoodlums stormed the offices, they overpowered personnel and set fire on the, on the facilities. The number of those killed on, or injured uh, could not be ascertained as at the time of filing this report. Now, meanwhile, former spokesperson of the All Progressives Congress, Lagos State, Joe Ibokwe, has accused members of the indigenous peoples of Apriafra of invading and setting ablaze his house in Uwagu, Newi, and Amber State. He made this public on his Facebook page where he claimed he captured the incident live from his house in Lagos through his CCTV installed in Newi, watching how they alighted from a Siena bus which, with jerry cans of fuel and an online video emerged later that featured a burning facility in Nui. 
Now, Joey Gukwe has been consistent on his advocacy that Indigo should play center politics and the need for the zone to be considered to produce the next president after President Muhammad Buhari's tenure in 2023. The Police Public Relations Office, uh, Tochuku Ikenga, confirmed the distress call of an incident in Innewi, assured the personnel uh, have uh, cordoned off the premises. And now, a lecturer at the Adekunle Ajasi University in Ondo State has been kidnapped. David Dilewa was abducted between Akure and Kire Road while going to visit his family in Ikiti State. The kidnappers have contacted his family and are demanding a 10 million naira ransom. Head of Information and Protocol Unit of the University, Victor Hakim Palumi, said the incident is still sketchy and promised to get back to our correspondent. Now, let's take this break and we'll be back with more here on Wake Up Nigeria. Now, LBI Art Gallery and Cultural Nexus is a Nigerian company promoting and trading contemporary artworks by Nigerian artists and also promoting Nigerian culture to Nigerians and the world. Joining us today to share his experience and how he grew the gallery as a business is Julius Ihiogheje. Uh, on SME today. You are welcome. Not the first time we're seeing you here. We were talking about your gallery the last time you were here, but today we're going to be focusing more on everything that has happened since after the gallery was established. Yeah. First off, you're welcome. Good morning, Mazino. Good morning, Lagos. Yeah, good to have you here. Happy to be here. Yes, indeed. So your art gallery, LVI Gallery, we spoke about it the last time and the fact that it uh, is a uh, well, welcome. It welcomes people from across Nigeria to come in and uh, also see these beautiful works of art by individuals who use your platform as a way to expose uh, their uh, um, expressions of art. How's that been going uh, so far? Uh, great. Um, the gallery is doing well. Mm -hmm. And the gallery has a new baby. Yes, which indeed. Is the photo studio. Now, that exactly is what we're about to talk about here today. So if you're a photographer or somebody who has the well, inclination to want to go into photography, this is for you, this segment on SME Today. Photography in Nigeria. Back in the 80s, it was a big deal. Everybody used to want to go every weekend, dress up and go to a studio to go take pictures, to have the physical copies. Um, but to see that everybody is capable of taking their own pictures today using their devices and all of that, how has it affected photography and the business itself? Well, um, you do your selfies, you, you mm -hmm. use your phones, and you have different capacities in terms of the phone's resolution to take a picture. Mm -hmm. But there's a difference between a photo studio photograph mm. and a professional photo shoot. Okay. So as a gallery, when client comes in, we take them pictures. Mm. As they're admiring the artwork, so we just we have a camera that mm. takes the pictures. As I'm discussing with them or my staff are discussing with them, we just take them pictures and with their permission we upload them on, on the page. Okay. So somebody says your pictures are so beautiful, mm. you have a good camera because we seem we use the same camera so to take pictures of our images for our website display. So we have a professional camera. Why don't you have a photo studio? Why don't you optimize mm. and commercialize this? That's evolution there. Yes. So I thought about it and looked at it. I say, well, I think it equally blends with the business. Mm -hmm. So um, some few months back, LBI Photos were, was born. Mm, nice. And now uh, we take pictures. And we'll take it to, to the next level. OK, tell us about this next level. You come in, you can take your picture from passport to life size. Mm. We can print your pictures immediately, passport mm. to life size. Any size of pictures we can print in, this, in the studio. We can equally frame your pictures on the spot if you mm. want it. Now, this is, a, this is a big endeavor, first of all, let me say, to print life, uh, life size pictures. But would you say that you already having such a facility as your art gallery actually helped you in being able to achieve all of this? I ask that because for a person who's out there who wants to go into such an endeavor, who only has a small EOS camera, for instance, how do they begin to dream this big? How do they go from that little small endeavor to where you are at now, even if yours is only just a few months old, but yeah. you, all, you, you already had a facility? So yeah. how can you help that single uh, person? Well, you must bring out something that is unique about your brand. You have to create a niche in the market. Mm. What will differentiate you from any other photographer? So one of my unique feature is that We'll take a picture, we'll print your picture, we'll frame your picture. Mm -hmm. For a photographer, you can, you can tell them that 
if I give you a picture within the next 30 minutes, I can give you a digi digital image. Mm -hmm. You have to create a brand around the photography. Mm -hmm. It's not just about taking pictures. Mm -hmm. You must look for a unique selling point about why somebody should patronize you okay. as a photographer. Oh, I have a, a studio. Our studios are open seven days a week. Wow, 24 hours around the clock. So I have a 24 so hours around the clock. You, you have to have a unique selling point in your business. Nice. Okay. So if you have a 24 hour selling, uh, 24 hours photo studio, mm. I don't think there's anyone existing right no, now. No, you could just be give somebody out there an idea, actually. Yes, so say, yeah. uh, if you wake up one o'clock in the night and you're doing a party, I, I want a photographer, around the clock, we are open for you. So you must create something that's unique about your business. Yeah, that's very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, do people, are people still in the business of wanting to go for physical pictures like they were from back in the days, or do they always only simply want digital copies? Well, uh, when we, the initial idea was just to have a photo studio, mm -hmm. but I said, why would I just have, so I had to look for why it's not just be an ordinary photo studio, that we could equally print pictures. I was surprised with the level of people, even from their digital cameras, mm -hmm. people want to print. Yeah, true. So we have people just coming in to say, I want to print my digital images. Because once in a while, you find out that if anything happens to your camera, mm -hmm. yeah, everything, everything is gone. gone. Yeah. So we even have more influx of people coming in for the, the digital material, print. Yeah. They want to digital to physical print, mm -hmm. and they want to equally frame it too. Ah, just like this picture I took, I want to kind of immortalize it. Okay. Because when you print out your picture, you have kind of immortalized and you frame it too, yeah. so, so the preservation is long. Okay. Did you have to employ somebody different for this? Um, only for the prints. Only for the, for the prints. Print. Yeah, I already, had, I already had somebody, yes, I already <laughs> had somebody that was doing the, um, the photos, uh, picture taking mm -hmm. for the gallery. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then secondly, I yes. had to equally increase the resolution. We had to buy one of the best cameras in terms for the photo studio to okay. just to yeah. upgrade it. So when you say that now, um, having the right kind of equipment. Um, if I was only just beginning, I don't know how I'd feel noting that I can only afford so much. Uh, but what encouragement for that person who can only afford so much and when it comes to uh, the kind of uh, equipment that they have, what is that word for them? I would tell them to study. Go and check about the equipment which you can afford. Go mm -hmm. to, Google is the free teacher for everybody. Go and study, see what how to optimize your equipment. Yeah, so it's not much about, sometimes it's not even just about the equipment, it's how you use. How do you use it, yes. You have equipment. to go and study how to optimize your equipment. And one thing is that, okay, I was having a photo studio. I said, I got in a professional to train my people mm -hmm. and I was part of the class. Mm. And I knew about, oh, picture dimension, how you should make sure, make sure an image is not even in the center of a picture. It's mm -hmm. not even very professional. Oh, really? Yes, so oh, it's good for it to come in. Nice. Oh, like, let, let them see some level of motion. You look at the effect of light, how the light should be behind the photographer facing the person as against the other way around. So mm. those, it's important that we study. No. It's important that you study. You don't just pick it up. Oh, I like to take pictures and you, and because you, can have, you have a phone already and yeah. you think you are, you are good, go and study. Mm. Study the kind of photograph you want to even specialize in. Mm -hmm. You want to become a portrait photographer? You want to become um, a sport photographer? There are diff even I found out that different um, uh, specialization in photography. Okay, okay. So you're stationed. Do you uh, have a, a, um, a process whereby you can actually go to meet these people? I know you have a studio, but can you also bring that market to the people? And what do you suggest for a person who is a beginner, should they be stationed like you, an established brand, LVI Studios, or should they be able to move around? Should they be, what's the word now, ambulant? It's still part of your business plan. But nowadays, in, in the way photography is done, you always have the indoor photo shoot. People want to take photo shoots in a studio where you have equipment and props for their birthday, weddings, and whatever. So they, on their birthday, they use those images yeah, on, the, yeah. on the, yeah. And secondly, yes. too, some people want you to come to their house to do those photo shoots because yeah. they believe that they have the one the home ambience which they are already comfortable with. Mm -hmm. So all you need to do is just to, your your devices are already mobile, your cameras and your and some of your props are mobile. You you, you move and uh, satisfy your client. Yeah. So you have two facilities here. You have the gallery. You have the studio. Have you thought about cross crossing both endeavors? Like the pictures that you take of people, do you display them at your gallery? We have um, a website for the gallery. We have mm -hmm. an Instagram page for the photo studio and we have another Instagram page for the um, gallery. Okay. So pictures, 
purely for the photo studio mm. goes to the Instagram page for the photo studio, okay. not for the gallery. Yeah. Okay. Then pictures for the gallery only goes to the gallery, not for the photo studio. Mm. But any picture which the gallery photographer takes mm. for the art gallery, we mm. acknowledge that this photo shoot was taken by. So you can see the level of professionalism. Yeah. So if you use your phone and you say, oh, people come to the gallery to just, just to take pictures. They oh, like okay. the ambience, it's beautiful. Um, some of the yeah, images. Yeah, we've been seeing some yes. of those pictures. Look at, look at the, some yes. of those there. You've got chairs people can just sit down and play chess on. Yes, we, we, we have board games. Uh, we have chess, um, locally made chess, handcrafted. Ah. We have um, Ludo, ah. game promoting Nigeria local tourism sites. Um, the different tourism sites. Mm. So people come in, they play games, people just come in and uh, they look at the artworks, they, they take pictures and... Um, That's very interesting yes. you've put all this together the and the main aim is, uh, well, uh, the theme around it is, is, is art and it's very yes. encouraging to see that people Promoting are Promoting art and culture. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That people are still interested in art as much as you uh, 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 push it toward them. Well, that's fantastic, man. Interesting. What else should we know um, going forward for your art studio? that people can benefit from. Okay, um, we have LVI Logistics. Mm -hmm. LVI Logistics now does the delivery of the artworks. Okay, so along with your pictures, I bet, as <laughs> yes, well. Yes, 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 yes. It's all about solutions and making mm -hmm. the client happy. That's and having a unique selling point. So you come, you buy the artworks. Mm -hmm. Some of the artworks are bigger than your, your vehicle. We have the, we take care of that. Yeah. Locally and internationally. Nice. We, we're taking artworks to Canada, to US, yeah. and to UK, even to Ghana. I do believe that we spoke about this the last time. And that's yes. very interesting, mm -hmm. man. So if you're out there and you're thinking about going into this kind of a business, whether gallery or photography, note that you have to also have other services around it, value-added services is what they call them. Logistics, perhaps, or maybe the ability to come to you with that market. That's very interesting. Thank you very much. It's very, very good to have you here again. And we've learned so much from you Thank second you. time around here. But we're not going to let you go hungry because we know you didn't have breakfast before coming over here this morning. So let's bring you already to the kitchen once again. Thank I'm you, sure you're looking forward because you've been smelling all these beautiful smells. Yes. Do, do step this way, our beautiful yeah. ladies of uh, Wake Up Nigeria will help you to something really delicious. Morning, ladies. Okay. And morning, Monsieur nice Chef. Right there. Morning. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Okay. So mm -hmm. speed is definitely very important when it comes to kitchen work. And Chef Isaac has shown us that. He has chopped, he has sliced, he has grilled, he has done the whole of the things. Now, doesn't this look beautiful? Mm-hmm. Looks okay. tasty too. You want to taste it for us? Yes. Okay. okay. Let's move it over here. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. Yeah. That's, so. I want to be just the best. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start from. <laughs> There's a lot of activities around this, mm -hmm. and thank you for the time. Yeah. It is well curated. Yes. Oh. Yes. First of all, I appreciate that. Spoken like a true art curator. <laughs> Food is art, anyways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Food is art. All right. A ninety-five percent. Wow. What happened to the other five? <laughs> what, what, what happened to the other five? Yeah. <laughs> because I've not finished it. <laughs> okay, no problem. Nice, nice, right. nice. Thank, thank, thank you so again. much, Chef Isaac. Mm -hmm. So the guys are on the couch, very jealous of us right now. Yes. Because we're close to the food. <laughs> yeah. he, he says he's not. I am definitely. I'm looking forward to some of that. But anyhow, Any words guys, of wisdom, mm. Mr. Mexicano? Uh, when you close the show. <laughs> I do have one. It's a Monday. Make sure that you just go with it with every single ounce of preparation, readiness, and, you know, you'll make the rest of the week count. What you mm? said. <laughs> <laughs> But we will be back again tomorrow morning from 7 a.m., yes. people. <laughs> Make it a date with us. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.